السلام علیکم سو ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹ یسٹرڈے وی اسٹڈی ان ڈیٹیل دا ایڈور اینڈ ناؤ وی آر موونگ فارورڈ ٹوڈ دا ٹوڈ دا پریپوزیشن پریپوزیشن از دا سکس یو نو پارٹ آف اسپیچ سو وین ایور یو آر گوئنگ ٹو اسٹڈی اینی تھنگ ایف دا کنسیپٹس آر کلیئر یو نو یو ول ریمبر دوز تھنگس فار یور ہول لائف بٹ ایف دا کنسیپٹس آر ناٹ کلیئر یو آر یو ہیو جسٹ کریم دا ڈیفینیشن اینڈ یو نو آل دوز تھنگس وچ نارملی دا اسٹوڈنٹس ڈو سو دین یو نو یو ول فار گیٹ دیز تھنگس ویری ویری سون اٹ ول ناٹ اسٹے فار ٹو لانگ ان یور مائنڈ سو دا تھنگ دیٹ آئی وانٹ ٹو ٹیل یو دیٹ دا کنسیپٹ شوڈ بی ریئلی کلیئر سو ٹوڈے ان شاء اللہ وی آر گوئنگ ٹو اسٹڈی دا پریپوزیشن سو فرسٹ آف آل دا ڈیفینیشن آف پریپوزیشن از اے پریپوزیشن از اے ورڈ یوز بفور اے ناؤن اور پرو ناؤن ٹو شو اٹس ریلیشن وتھ این ادر پرسن اور تھنگ وی مے ہیو این ادر ڈیفینیشن آف دا پریپوزیشن از اے پریپوزیشن از اے ورڈ یوز ٹو شو دا ریلیشن آف اے ناؤن اور پرو ناؤن to some other word in that sentence in the sentence so yani wo alfaz jo kisi ism ya isme zameer se pehle isliye istemal kiye jaye ki inka taluq kisi dusri cheez ya shakhs se zahir kiya ja sake preposition kehlate hain yani wo alfaz jo jumle mein ism ya isme zameer se se pehle basically aksar jo na pehle istemal hote hain istemal kiye jate hain اور وہ جملے میں جو باقی جو باقی سنٹینس ہوتا ہے ان کے ساتھ اس کا تعلق بتانے کے لیے ہوتا ہے تو یہ چیز کیا کہلاتی ہے جی پریپوزیشن کہلاتی ہے آئی ول گیو یو ون ایگزامپل پلیس مائی بیگ آن دا ٹیبل سو دا ورڈ آن از یو نو دا ورڈ آن از ٹیلنگ اس اباؤٹ دا بیگ پوزیشن یعنی آپ دیکھ لیں اس میں کہ اس فقرے میں جو لفظ آن ہے یہ میں سے پہلے استعمال کیے گئے جو ہم نے پہلے بات کی تھی ڈیفینیشن میں کہ ناؤن سے یہ ناؤن ناؤن کے ساتھ استعمال ہو گیا تاکہ میز کا تعلق بیگ سے ظاہر کیا جا سکے اس لیے آن اس میں کیا ہے جی حرف جار ہے اس کو اردو میں پریپوزیشن کو حرف جار کہتے ہیں انادر ایگزامپل دیٹ دے آر سٹنگ انڈر دا ٹری سو دا ورڈ انڈر یو نو دس ان دس سینٹینس دا ورڈ انڈر از دا پریپوزیشن so you can say that basically the preposition tells uh, tells uh, tell us about the uh, you know the position or you could say that uh, where that thing is um, uh, is in in what condition subscribe now and press the bell icon never miss an update and now the forms of pre- preposition so there are different three kinds of preposition the simple preposition the double preposition and the compound preposition first the simple preposition after at by for from in of another of with double f on over through till to under up with so all of them they are called the simple prepositions and now if we will use some of them in sentences that the concept should be clear for example let's have the example of two so this road leads to islamabad so in this sentence two is the simple preposition another example is he is climbing up the wall so in this sentence up is the simple preposition the book is on the table so in this sentence on is simple preposition and now the second uh, form of preposition is double preposition and the examples of double prepositions are against among into within so these are all the double prepositions for example let's use the word within in a sentence so then it will be clear to you guys do this homework within a week so in this sentence within is a double preposition and the final you know type of form of you can say the of preposition is and the third one is this is the last one the compound preposition yani compound preposition wo hai اس میں پریپوزیشن کے ساتھ اسم اس میں صفت یا مطلق فعل یعنی جو ایڈورب ہیں وہ ہم ملا کر کرتے ہیں اس میں فار ایگزامپل اکراس 
behind above about before beneath beside between beyond but these are all the examples of compound prepositions like the first one is across so across is the combination of on plus cross so that's that's why they are called the compound preposition the next one is behind so behind is the you know combination of by plus hind behind the next one example is about so about is the combination of on plus by plus out next example is above so above is the combination of on plus by plus up and the next one is the next example of compound preposition is before so before is the combination of by plus for f o r e for and the next example of compound preposition is beneath so beneath is the combination of by plus neath and the next example is beside so beside is the combination of by plus side s i d e side and next example is between so between is the combination of by plus twin t w a i n and the other another example of compound preposition is beyond beyond is the combination of by plus yonder y o u n d e r and the last but not the least example is but and but is the combination of by plus out so this was all about preposition discussed about uh, the preposition in detail and today's topic is the conjunction urdu mein isko huruf e ataf kehte hain aur iski jo definition hai ke conjunction is a word used for joining one word to another word or one sentence to another sentence and the second definition is a conjunction is a word that join words or group of words yani hamare paas jo conjunction hota hai ye do lafzon ko aapas mein milata hai ya do jumlon ko aapas mein milata hai ye bahut simple hai conjunction urdu mein iski yahi definition ke aise alfaz jo ek lafz ko dusre lafz ya ek fiqre ko dusre fiqre se milaye huruf e ataf kehlate hain ab inshallah then when i will give you the example then you will it will be clear to you guys the first example is aslam and his brother came and the second example is i went to see there but he was absent ab pehle fikre mein and do alfaz aslam aur brother ko his brother ko aapas mein mila raha hai aur jo dusra fikra hai ki i want to see there but he was absent to is dusre fikre mein but jo hai jo ke conjunction hai do fikron ko i went there aur he was absent ko aapas mein kya kar raha hai mila raha hai तो ये जो अल्फाज है इन दो जुमलों में एंड एंड बट दीज आर कॉल्ड द कंजंक्शन बिकॉज इन द फर्स्ट सेंटेंस असलम एंड हिज ब्रदर दे आर टू वर्ड्स एंड दे आर कनेक्टेड बाय द वर्ड एंड सो दैट्स वाई दे आर कॉल्ड द कंजंक्शन एंड इन द नेक्स्ट एग्जाम्पल आई वेंट टू सी देयर बट ही वॉज एबसेंट सो इन इन दिस सेंटेंस आई वेंट टू सी देयर दिस इज one sentence and the other sentence is he was absent so these two sentences are connected the, by the word but some more examples bring your lunch and one dollar so in a, another example is you must pass every subject and maintain a good average so you must pass every subject is one sentence maintain a good average is another sentence so these two sentences are connected by the word and and the first sentence also was connected by the word and so the basic you know the basic so the basic work of conjunction is just to join words or to join sentences and now there are some of few types of the conjunction basically there are two classes of conjunction you can say there are two types of conjunction or two kinds of conjunction the first one is the coordinating conjunction and the second one is in one is subordinating conjunctions so now going to the first type of the conjunction the first one is the coordinating conjunction so the 
coordinating conjunction is they join the definition is they join sentences is of coordinate mean of equal rank yani wo haruf e atab jo do ham rutba fikro ko aapas mein milaye so yani do aise jo na coordinate sentences ko aapas mein milayenge यानी जो कोऑर्डिनेट कंजंक्शन है ये दो जुमलों को ऐसे सेंटेंसेस को आपस में मिलाता है जो कोऑर्डिनेट हो यानी इक्वल रैंक के हो दोनों क्या हो बराबर के हो फॉर एग्जांपल ही केम हेयर एंड मीट मी सो ही केम हेयर इज फर्स्ट सेंटेंस एंड मीट मी अनदर सेंटेंस एंड बोथ ऑफ दीज सेंटेंसेस आर ऑफ इक्वल रैंक and these two sentences he came here meet me are joined by the word and he came here and meet me so these two sentences are joined by and and these both sentences are of equal rank another example of the coordinate conjunctions is he came he came to see me but i was not at home so he came to see me is one sentence one coordinate and i was not at home another one and these two sentences are both of equal rank and are joined by the word but so i think so it is much clear now he came to see me but i was not at home he came to see me is one you know one coordinate and the the, the other one sentence and the other sentence is i was not and i was not at home is another sentence and these two sentences are of equal rank joined by the word but so this was about the coordinated co coordinating conjunction and the examples of coordinating conjunctions are and both also as well as otherwise but still yet however while therefore and then the next type is subordinating conjunctions so the subordinating conjunction is they join a subordinate in the first one which was coordinate so there they join coordinate conjunction but in subordinate conjunction they join a subordinate or dependent clause to a principal clause of higher rank in the first one the, the first type was coordinating conjunction so there we talked about that it join you know of equal rank but in subordinate conjunction it does not you know join the uh, equal rank sentences but it join the uh, de a dependent class to a principal class of higher rank this is the key point that it, it join a dependent class to a principal class of higher rank yani wo haruf atav jo kisi principal class ko और मातहत क्लास को को आपस में मिलाए जो कि हायर रैंक के होंगे फॉर एग्जांपल नाउ इट विल बी वी विल गेट क्लियर दिस फ्रॉम द एग्जांपल आई विल रीड दैट बुक दिस इज अ प्रिंसिपल क्लास आई विल रीड दैट बुक इफ यू एडवाइज मी सो इफ यू एडवाइज मी इज अ डिपेंडेंट क्लास and the principal clause is i will read that book is a principal clause you advise me is a dependent clause joined by the word if which is a conjunction in this sentence so these two you know sentences two clauses i will read that book is a principal clause joined by if you advise me is a dependent clause and in this sentence if is a subordinating conjunction so the difference between coordinating conjunctions and subordinating conjunction is that coordinating conjunctions you know join uh, the two you know join sentences of equal rank but this is not the case in subordinating conjunction in subordinating conjunctions they join a subordinate or you can say that a dependent clause to a principal clause of higher rank so this is the basic difference between subordinating clause subordinating conjunctions and coordinating conjunctions and other words that are used as a subordinating conjunction are that because so that unless after while as since no less than whether so these are all examples of subordinating conjunctions so this was the lecture about subordinating conjunctions i hope so it is 
quite clear now. Projection. So this is the last lecture on the part of speech. And uh, far as the mm, definition of interjection is concerned, so the first definition is an interjection is a word in a sentence to express some feeling or state of the mind. Urdu means we will say that the alphas are interjection which is a word in a sentence or a sentence. And definition number two, an interjection is a word that express emotion and has no grammatical, grammatical relation to other words in the sentence. یعنی انٹرجیکشن ہمارے پاس وہ الفاظ ہیں جو جملے میں یعنی کسی بھی سنٹینس میں استعمال ہوتے ہیں جو کسی یعنی خوشی یا غمے کی کیفیت کا اظہار کرتے ہوں ٹھیک ہے اور اس کا جو جملے کا جو باقی حصہ ہوتا ہے اس کے ساتھ گرامیٹیکلی طور پر اس کا کوئی ریلیشن نہیں ہوتا ٹھیک ہے جی تو فار ایگزامپل جیسے ہم کہتے ہیں کہ بھائی ہرا فار ایگزامپل ہرا آئی ہیو فاؤنڈ مائی واچ تو اس لفظ اس جملے میں ہرا ان دس سینٹینس ہرا از این یو نو انٹرجیکشن اینڈ ایز فار از دا ادر سینٹینس از کنسرن آئی ہیو فون مائی واچ اٹ ہیز نو گرامیٹیکل ریلیشن ود دیٹ ادر پارٹ آف دا سینٹینس سو ہرا ان دس سینٹینس از شوئنگ یو نو یو نو اے فیلنگ آف جوائے یعنی جو ہرا لفظ ہے یہ خوشی کا اظہار کرے اس جملے میں تو یہ کیا ہے جی انٹرجیکشن ہے اینڈ ایگزامپل آف انٹرجیکشن از الاس الاس جملے میں استعمال ہوتا ہے کسی بھی غم کی کیفیت کے لیے یعنی جب بھی کوئی کسی کے غم کے بارے میں بتانا ہو تو اس کے لیے لفظ استعمال کرتے ہیں الاس الاس آئی واز فیلڈ ٹھیک ہے یا یو کین سی دیٹ آئی ہیو بین روئنڈ الاس آئی ہیو بین روئن اینڈ ادر ایگزامپلس آف انٹرجیکشنس آر اوہ مائی گوڈنیس ہرا آہ آؤچ الاس سو دیز آر آل دا ایگزامپلس آف انٹرجیکشن for emotion in a sentence they are called the interjection so i hope so interjection is quite clear and i hope so all the part of speech are quite clear now and the thing that i told you just couple of days ago that you know the definitions these things does not matter the thing that matter that is the concepts if your concepts are clear you will remember the things for the entire life But if the concepts are not clear, you have just claimed the definitions. So then you will, you may forget these things just after a few months. So try to, whenever you are going to study anything, try to, you know, clear your, your concepts. That is the basic thing. So this was for today.